Oh my god, I hope it doesn't find me here. I'm trying to hide from it. It's dangerous, you know, and I don't want it to find me. Shh, I'm hiding from the dangerous credit cards. Oh my god, it, it's the credit card. It, it found me, you dangerous, you dangerous Hi guys, Michael here from the Michael Clopton channel, where we talk about practical financial information for real people in a real world. Credit cards are dangerous? That is today's video. If this is your first time on my channel, then welcome, and please hit that like button and the subscribe button so that this video can get in front of many other people. So, credit cards are dangerous, are they? All of that just ahead. Recently, I was scrolling through my social media when I came across a post that listed five things that someone wished they had known before they became an adult. It was pretty funny. But one of the things that stood out to me was one that was listed like this. Credit cards are dangerous. This is one of the things that she wished she had known before she became an adult. So let me ask you a question. Are credit cards really dangerous? I decided that I would do a test for myself. So I took my credit card and I took it on a walk. I thought I would decide on a walk how the credit card behaved. So off I went and the credit card seemed just fine. It didn't attack anybody. It didn't run into a store and purchase something that I didn't intend to get. It was just a card and it was just fine. There was nothing dangerous about the card. So my conclusion was the credit card's not dangerous. So clearly the credit card isn't the problem. But what makes this person think that credit cards are dangerous? Why would somebody think credit cards are dangerous? Clearly they're not. Is it the bank? Is it the bank that issues the credit card that makes them feel like credit cards are dangerous? Actually, while it is true that a bank wants to give everybody a credit card that they possibly can, they st still are a bit cautious. And it, depending on your credit, especially if it's bad, they're not going to give you a credit card or they're going to offer you an alternative type credit card. And I'll put a little link above here in the little card so that you can see a, a video that I made called What Are Credit Cards? And it'll explain more about that. So it's not the credit card. It's not the bank. It only leaves, what, the store? The store is what makes a credit card dangerous? Yeah, they want to sell things, that's certainly for sure. But it's not the store that makes your credit card dangerous. So there's really only one place to look, and that, unfortunately, is in the mirror. The person who makes the credit card dangerous is the person's whose hand it happens to be in. It is true, a credit card is very convenient. A credit card is very easy to use. And with the digital society that we now live in, everything is shifting toward digital purchases and digital almost everything, even digital movies, such as Netflix and Hulu and Amazon and the things like that. So we de definitely live in a very digital world. But it's not the credit card or any of these other elements. Everything you needed to know about a credit card, you learned before the fifth grade. And I'm sure that we are smarter than most fifth graders. We just now have to take the responsibility. One of my favorite sayings that I call my Michaelisms is this. He who takes responsibility gets control. You get control over your credit card when you take responsibility for that credit card. Like not trying to go over your limit, not going over your budget, or not putting more on the credit card than you make on a month-to-month -month basis. Listen, honestly, money is pretty simple on how to handle it. It's sort of like the game boards that you may have played when you were younger. You have a start and you have a finish. There are rules to get you through the game. And when you play by the rules, you have a way bigger chance of successfully winning the game. And that is exactly how credit cards and money is in your life. When you play by the rules of these games, they're not monsters. They're not things to be afraid of. They are tools and assets for you to use to move you forward into your personal financial goals. No, 
Credit cards aren't your problem, and you got this. Remember, he who takes responsibility gains control. This is Michael from the Michael Clopton channel, and if you enjoyed this video today, would you please consider hitting that like button first of all, and then the subscribe button so that you'll know when the next video is available on my channel. Remember, credit cards are not a monster, and you got this, and I'll see you in the next video.